Genesis. What is the meaning of this? What did you do? What did you say? What do you mean? You mocked the way I spoke, so this is a consequence. It doesn't matter now. Both parties are suffering. Let's just forgive and forget and bury this under the ground. Don't make light of this situation. You realize I lost my baby. There is absolutely no way I can just forgive and forget something like that. I will never forgive you for this. That's what I mean. Even though you were carrying a child, you were still spouting nonsense. You have to share some of the blame, too. Sometimes in life, these things happen. You just have to deal with it. But to simply point the finger at the person you had a spat with? That isn't very mature of you, is it? But what are you talking about? I don't recall having a spat with you or anything at all. Just before you made a rude remark about me, I just simply made one tiny remark back. That was it. It's strange that a worthless wife talks back, don't you think? I'm concerned. You don't seem to comprehend your place in this situation. I can't believe this. As soon as Roland left for his business trip, your true colors really showed. What will happen if Roland and the police find out about what happened this time? Then what will you do? That's exactly why telling the police anything is useless. You're also implicated too. Besides, you just happened to slip and fall on your own. No way I shoved you or anything like that. What? You can't be serious. No matter how you look at the situation, you definitely were the one who shoved me. No, no, that's not true. What are you talking about? Stop trying to pin some groundless accusations on me. You provoked me into a fight. And the next thing I knew, you just tripped and fell down the stairs on your own. I see. So you just won't admit to any of this, will you? What do you mean, admit to it? I have nothing to admit to because I'm speaking nothing but the truth. You never liked your sister-in-law from the start. So did you think about trying to pin a crime on me? Is it possible you fell down the stairs on purpose? Was that your plan from the start? To try and pin that on me and get me into trouble? Stop it. That's enough. Talking to you any further about this is clearly pointless. I will just say this. You better prepare yourself. You will pay for what you did. You'll make up for the crime you committed. Mark my words. I keep saying this over and over, but what are you talking about? That's enough of your wild, fabricated stories about a crime. Get a grip already. Well, all I can say now is take care. Madeline, are you all right? I heard the whole story from Genesis. She told me you fell down the stairs and hurt yourself badly. I'm so worried about you. Please let me know if everything is okay. How are you feeling? Do you need anything? Oh, Kate. So you heard about that? Yes, it's true. I fell down the stairs and I lost the baby. I had a miscarriage. But I'm fine as I can be after something like that. I'm trying to be strong and move on. A miscarriage? That's so unfortunate. I'm so sorry to hear that. You must be devastated. But there's always next time. You can try again. But I think it's best to not let Roland hear anything about this little incident. He doesn't need to know. Oh, don't worry. He's on a business trip right now. I haven't been able to talk to him, so I haven't told him anything yet. I'll talk to him when he gets home. I'm going to tell him that Genesis pushed me down the stairs. That she did this to me on purpose. What? Wait, what did you just say? What do you mean by that? Are you serious? I mean exactly what I said. I was pushed down the stairs by Genesis. It's true. 
and I'm not lying. I can't believe she would do something like this. She's so evil, especially over such nonsense. Such a petty reason. Nonsense. But what proof do you have that Genesis was the one who pushed you? How can you accuse her of such a thing? Proof? Well, just my memory of it happening. I remember it clearly. Just as I was about to fall down the stairs, I saw Genesis behind me. She was there. She looked at me with hatred and told me what a worthless wife I am, how I don't deserve Roland, how I'm a burden to him. I turned around and I asked her what was her problem. And in response, she just pushed me hard and I fell. That's not an argument. That's not enough, you know. That's just your word against hers. It's because you responded back to her that caused something bad like this to happen. You should have ignored her. Maybe you should have walked away. In other words, what you're saying is I shouldn't have said anything to her? I should have just bit my tongue and kept my mouth shut? I should have let her insult me and humiliate me? Isn't it obvious? As a pregnant woman, you should always be careful, especially not to do something as foolish as to provoke anyone or to get in a fight with anyone. Because your unborn child wasn't your number one responsibility is why you had a miscarriage. You were careless and reckless. Kate, are you trying to say I'm the one at fault in this? That I'm to blame for losing the baby? Hearing the story from you, Genesis sounds like the one who did something wrong. But I don't know the truth. What really happened? Only God knows. If you're placing all the blame on Genesis, it's a little one-sided if you ask me. And it's not fair. What? One-sided? How can you say that? I'm not exaggerating anything. I'm not making anything up. Everything I said is true. The proof is stacked up against her that it's her fault. She was the one who pushed me. She killed my baby. My daughter-in-law and my own daughter. Who do you think I should believe? Who do you think I should trust? I am sorry, but it's not just me. I don't think anyone would believe what you have to say in this situation. You have no evidence. Is that right? Well, you may be right to make that assumption, but I can make you believe me. I know I can. I'm sure of it. I'm also confident you guys will be put on trial for this. You will face justice. The one who will be put on trial is you. You were the one who started it by punching Genesis in the first place. And you attacked her first because of your punch, you fell down the stairs. You brought it upon yourself and got exactly what you deserved. You got what was coming to you. Roland and I took out a loan as a married couple and paid for the house with that. We worked hard to pay it off. You guys are the ones coming over here acting like freeloaders all the time. Yet I'm the worthless one? How can you treat me like a worthless wife? Not to mention you got my child wrapped up in this. You involved her in your schemes. I will never forgive you guys. You have crossed the line. Well, what can I say? It's the truth. The truth is, you are worthless. You are nothing but a burden. The reason for your miscarriage is because you fell down the stairs. Well, I'm not too sure about that. Maybe you did it on purpose because you didn't want the baby. I have no use for a useless wife who can't produce a grandchild for me. Now get out. Pack your bags and leave. You're not welcome here anymore. Fine. I understand. I'm leaving right now. I don't want to stay there any longer. I don't want to see your faces ever again. Don't you dare even think about coming back either. You are dead to us. You are no longer part of this family. Are you sure that's what you want? To cut me off like this? You don't know everything. It may not be too late to have Genesis and I apologize to each other while we still can. Forget about it. Hurry up and get out of my sight. Genesis is the victim here. She's a victim of you trying to pin some false accusations on her. You're the one who attacked her. You caused this mess. No matter where you go and what you do, you'll never be anything more than a dirty woman. A woman who lies and cheats and hurts others. Now, leave or do what you want me to call the police here. Do you want me to make a scene? 
The ones who are dirty are you guys. You guys are the ones who lie and cheat and hurt others. Forget it. You just better prepare yourselves. I won't forgive you guys for this. Ever. Blah, blah, blah. Say whatever you want. I don't care. I don't believe you. You're just a pathetic woman who can't accept the reality. Go ahead and say whatever you want. It won't change anything. Hey, what's going on? Why was the real estate agent just here? They said we have to evacuate the premises? What happened? Yep, it's just as they said. So how about you hurry up and get out for me? Besides, this isn't your house to begin with anyway. Hey, wait a second. What do you mean by that? The name on the deed of the house is mine. So I decided to put it on the market and sell it. That's why I said for you two to leave. If you or any of your possessions are left over, I will sue you for trespassing. What? Are you kidding me? You can't do that. But if that's really true, where am I going to live? I have no idea. That's not my problem. Why not just live somewhere around there? But that isn't good enough for you, right? Isn't it that house that you really want, right? So would you like to live in it again? What are you getting at? Spit it out already. My question is quite simple. I'm asking whether or not you want to keep living in that house. Yes or no? Of course I want to live here by any means. Well, then you have to do exactly what I say. Do you understand? When you pushed me down the stairs, be honest. That was your mother's instructions, wasn't it? Well, no. No, they weren't. If you're honest with me, then I won't sue you. Plus, I'll let you continue living in that house you love so much. The one who truly despises me is your mother. Isn't that right? Me and you aren't too far off in age. You're Roland's daughter, and I want us to have a great relationship too. But my mom? What about her? What's going to happen to her? Sorry, but I can't have her living there. I have to press charges against her too. She definitely belongs in prison, so it can't really be helped. Isn't that a little too far? Can't we all get past this whole thing without mom having to go to jail? There has to be another way. Absolutely not. Unfortunately, there's no other way. Let me put it to you this way. It's either you or your mother. But one way or another, one of you two will be getting arrested. That's the cold, hard truth. That is why I'm trying to save you. Do you understand what I'm trying to do for you? So you are serious about this? There won't be any penalties or anything against me? That's right. If you're able to provide me proof that your mom was the one who put you up to this, then I won't place any blame on you at all. Of course, you'll need to keep this a secret from your mother too. So what do you say? Do we have a deal or what? Yeah, I understand everything. Everything you said is right. The one who forced me to push you down the stairs the way I did was my mom. Actually, I still have the text message conversation between me and her when she told me to push you down the stairs. I'll find it and send it to you later. Thank you so much. You're really helping me out so much here. I'll make sure not to let anyone know I got this information from you. Great, thank you. You really won't say anything about me, will you? Yes, of course. You have my word. Hey Kate, just wanted to let you know I decided to put the house on the market. I've already called and spoke to a dealer. He's coming over today to check the place and make an offer. So can you leave sometime today for me? Can you pack your things and get out of here? Yes, I already heard all about it earlier from Genesis. She told me everything. She told me how you're trying to sell the house behind Roland's back. Is that what you're doing? 
Well, then did you frantically do some research on how to continue living there? Shut up. You don't have to say anything. We are leaving this house and we are leaving you alone. But what did you tell Roland about all of this? If I know my son, he'll be against this entire thing. He'll be furious with you and of course he'll divorce you. You just wait until he returns from his business trip. Just wait and see. I haven't told Roland anything yet, but I was pushed by the both of you. I was pushed to this point by your actions. And make no mistake, once I explained him because of the fall, I suffered a miscarriage. I lost our baby. There is no way he will be against anything I'm doing right now. He will support me and stand by me. I've already hired a lawyer and we're moving forward with preparing a lawsuit against you. I'm going to sue you for everything you've done to me. How ridiculous. You can do whatever you want, but your case won't go anywhere anyway. You won't get anything from me. You're missing one small yet important thing. Where is your proof that we had anything to do with any of this? Oh, Kate, the truth is your daughter Genesis already spilled the beans about everything. She already confessed to everything. She already admitted to her guilt. What? My Genesis did what? My Genesis confessed to what? What are you talking about? I guess she thought it best to protect herself. Especially when I told her I wouldn't blame her for anything that happened. I would just press all the charges against you instead. If you ask me, that's a little underhanded. But what can I say? That's not my problem, is it? That's your problem. But maybe you're proud. Because as a mother, you always want your child to tell the truth. You always want your child to be honest. The truth? The truth about what? What did she tell you? That's right. The truth about everything. Because of Genesis' confession, you're in quite the predicament now, aren't you? You're in big trouble now, aren't you? However, I wonder if it makes you angry that your daughter spilled the beans so you would be the one to take all the heat from this whole situation. Does it? Does it make you mad that she threw you under the bus? Are you serious? My Genesis said all of that about me? That everything was my fault? There's no way Roland will have a child with that worthless girl. That was a text message left over from the conversation between you and Genesis. Unfortunately for you, I've already showed it to my lawyer as proof against you. As proof of your motive and your guilt. Wait, what? That kid. How could she do this to me? She gave you that text message, really? That's right. But, Kate. If you told me everything about Genesis and her involvement in this whole event, then maybe I'll be able to protect you. Honestly, she is the one who pushed me. So she should be considered the perpetrator. I don't plan on protecting someone like that, but I really just want to become friends with you and have a good relationship. That is what Roland wants. He wants us to get along. After all, he's the most important thing to both of us, isn't he? He's the reason we're here. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I understand. Fine. I'll tell you everything. Yes. Please. That's all I ask. It'll ruin all of Genesis's plans. It'll expose all of her lies. It'll make her pay for what she did. Please tell me everything. Don't leave out a single minor detail. I need to know everything so I can protect you as best I can. So I can be your friend. Yeah. Yeah, I understand, I said. Hey, what's the meaning of this? What's going on? I just heard we're both being charged with what happened. But didn't you tell me something different? Didn't you tell me you would let me go and you would only blame my mom? I must be hearing wrong. This can't be true. All right. Thanks to the both of you, I was able to get confessions from you both. With that, it's easy to press charges. I'd start preparing. I'd start packing your bags if I were you. Because you're going to jail. Why? You dirty girl. You set me up. 
You lied and made me give you evidence. Well, you shouldn't have said anything to me. Anything about getting behind a pregnant woman and pushing her down the stairs. No matter what you say, it's all over now. You can think about what you did in jail for a long time. How could you do this to me? Please, you have to help me. See you later, you stupid girl. You should also be ready to pay up for the damages and reparations for everything you put me through. Please help me. I beg you. It's all mom's fault. She's the one who's messed up in the head. What do I do now? How do I get out of this? That's your call. It's not up to me. How about cutting ties with that awful mother of yours? Well, see you around. See you in court. Looks like Genesis's condition is critical. Looks like she's barely clinging to life. But for the rest of her life, she'll have to deal with the after effects. Whether or not she'll be able to walk again or not. Whether or not she'll be able to recover or not. After this, I'm not sure what will happen to her. She is a horrible kid. To save her own hide, she sold me out to the police. She told them everything. Ah, well, if you're going to say that, I may have mentioned something to her about that. I may have hinted something to her about that. What do you mean? What are you talking about? What did you do? That girl doesn't have the brains to go behind someone's back like that. I told her if she gave me proof that it was you who ordered her to push me down. I'd only go after you. I promised I'd protect her and only press charges against you. She took the bait perfectly. And thanks to the both of you, I was able to get a full confession. Wait, are, are you telling me this was planned by you the entire time? Seriously? Are you telling me this was a scheme orchestrated by you the entire time? That's right. My dear mother-in-law, you two foolishly saved me. You two stupidly helped me. Like you said, I needed proof. Genesis will go to trial after she heals from her injury. And then she'll surely be sent to prison and you too. Soon you'll be arrested and judged for the crime of killing your own grandchild. No way. How dare you do this to me? Thank goodness. I should thank you, really. I was so worried how I'd be able to battle the two of you in court without any proof at all. But you two stupidly proved the confessions yourself. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> I was able to get Genesis to see things through my eyes. And the rest went exactly as I planned. You both walked right into it. My dear mother-in-law. <laughs> Why, you little witch. I'll never forgive you for this. You won't forgive me? But what can you possibly do to me at this point? Unfortunately for you, there's a warrant out for your arrest right now. There's a police car waiting for you right now. Oh, justice. Looks like you're the one who's nothing more than a worthless woman. What a fall from grace for you. After that, Kate was arrested by the police. She was given an unsuspended prison sentence and she was sent to jail and locked up there. As for Genesis, she had severe damage done to her leg due to her accident. It seems inevitable that she'll spend the rest of her life in a wheelchair. She was sent to prison also with the combination of a wheelchair and prison. It seems as if in an instant her life has become a nightmare. Without knowing any of this, Roland finally returned home from his business trip. I told him about how I fell down the stairs and suffered a miscarriage. I also informed him about his mother and younger sister having warrants for their arrest. He was devastated and shaking in anger at the entire situation. But he understood the situation. He held me close to him. He made me feel I did the right thing and made me believe that because of my confidence, I was able to get through this whole ordeal. It's a mystery how such a horrible family like this could have raised such a wonderful man. 
A short while after that, Roland and I became pregnant again. I decided with all my being that I will give birth safely. This time, I'm determined to bring our baby into this world and give it a peaceful, happy life. A life that is free from the evil and the pain that his family caused us. A life that is full of love and joy that we can share with each other. A life that is ours and ours alone. 